mix it, babe. Girl, mix it, babe. The system is so easy. One, two, three, four, and you'll see. It's the curl mix it, babe. Okay, real quick review of the curl mix product. I have been looking for something that I can just wash and go with and keep it moving. I'm a woman, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I'm working. So I need something that's gonna work with my lifestyle that will be pick it up, go, and keep it moving. It's the Pure Aloe Vera Shampoo, the Pure Grapeseed Conditioner, followed by the Pure Avocado Moisturizer and the Pure Flaxseed Gel. I have just recently finished washing it and putting the whole four-step system in my hair. You guys should have seen it before. My head was rough. I had a baseball cap on at work, so you know it's real. Um, things I like about this product. For one, they tell you exactly how to use it. Steps one, two, three, four. Which one to use next? Where to go from there? What to do? I love that. Tell me so I don't have to guess. The next thing I like about it is that you can do everything in the shower. I am so used to having all these products that I have to apply this here, then apply this here, and then wait a few minutes, and then let this sit. Like, literally, you can do everything back to back while you're still in the shower, and you can keep it moving. I love that. Um, also, because I'm a big wash and go person, I like that it's able to last for several days. If I was going to give a quick review for somebody that's natural and wants and loves to do wash and goes and just needs a system that's going to work, I totally would recommend Curl Mix. If you're somebody that tends to have a moisture hungry hair type, I'm throwing an oil in between the moisturizer and the gel just to help lock in the the freshness of it all so it doesn't just dry out after a little bit of a while. That's my quick review. Definitely will try out Curl Mix and hope you do too. Is it? Hello everyone! Welcome to Wash and Go Wednesday. I'm Kim, CEO and co-founder of Curl Mix. And I'm Tim, COO and co-founder of Curl Mix. And we are your humble hosts for the evening. And I'm so sorry for my deep, uh, very white voice today, but I am a little under the weather. But welcome to 2020. Yes. Oh my gosh. Happy New Year, guys. We've been away for maybe like a week or two, and it feels like a month. It feels like we haven't <coughs> talked to you in a while. Let us know. Who's in here? Where are you checking in from? If you're watching us on replay, comment replay below. Um, I see some of the comments coming in. Hey, Sheila. What's up? Hey, Vanessa. Hey, hey Marla. Uh, Sonya, oh, Vanessa says, miss y'all. Sonya says, been so long since I've been here. Hey, miss you too, Vanessa. Going. Hey, Sonya. What's up? What's up? Hey, Jasmine. We Welcome, got you guys. all the OGs here, all the top fans. Thank you guys so much for continuing to rock with us into a new year you know as i kind of look back we've been doing washing on wednesday for more than a year now yes a year and a half i think right, that's over 50 lives but before we forget so that we can continue doing lives make sure you share tonight's live so that you can win one of our giveaways tonight so there are two things you have to do right in order to win any giveaway tonight and remember we're giving away over hundreds and hundreds of dollars of chromix product all you have to do is share the live and the second thing you have to do is text us Text us at 81787, and what you're going to text us is WGW. It stands for Wash and Go Wednesday. Yep, so text WGW to 81787. All right, it's just that easy. Share the live, text us, and we're going to pick from those folks who are eligible via both of those things. And I saw somebody ask about trivia. I am sick, but I will be doing trivia. <laughs> you do not get an excuse. You do not get a pass. But before we <laughs> get right to the giveaways and the trivia, all right, make uh, we want to introduce you guys to Andra. Andra's our resident stylist. Oh. Hello, Miss Andra Renee, aka Hair Cousin. Hey, they always make me come all the way up to this camera. There you go. <laughs> Welcome back, curl mixers, and soon to be curl mixers. Happy New Year. And then we also have in our chair. Sandy Frazier. Sandy's getting her hair done tonight. She's actually one of our models in a previous shoot. And she has beautiful hair. So I can't wait to dive right in. And you um, can follow Sandy at Jazzy Frazier on Instagram. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started by shampooing Sandy's hair. Okay? So we'll give you this before and before shot. 
of what our hair looked like. Um, and then just so you know, we are using rose tonight. So we're using our rose four step wash and go system to give Sandy the best that rose it's on is is on its way out so if you have not gotten your rose um, system now is the time right because you can use that great wash and go Wednesday discount that's gonna be active from now until midnight to get your rose system before they're all gone Selene ain't funny she's like the Kim that new product gave you some land what new product Selene what new product are you talking about probably been seeing my behind the scenes pictures of me working in the kitchen and making some stuff. Um, but just a heads up, someone, Mar I think Marla Corvard had a question about the phone number, 81787. So 81787. And we're okay. going to make sure that it is up on the screen a few times so that you can check it. Um, so don't worry, if you haven't gotten it yet, it will be back up on the screen soon. Do not fret, we got you. You're not going to miss any giveaways. We got a couple more minutes until that first giveaway. So don't worry. Um, just make sure you share the live and then um, text us at that number, which is 81787. We should make a song. 81787. I keep wanting to say that Mike. No, oh, seven, oh, no, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna mess up everybody. Thanks, John, because you don't know. Never mind. She does not know those lyrics, <laughs> and great because those are copyrighted lyrics. So <laughs> Thankfully, so that, I didn't say anything <laughs> in the actual song. Yes, but if you are just joining us for the first time on Washing a Wednesday, you know we can get a little. Uh, just so you know, we can get a little silly, but in all seriousness, seriousness, we are here to show you how to get the best wash and go ever using our all natural and organic products but we teach the curl mix method which allows you to get the best wash and go ever regardless of whether or not you're using curl mix products because our end goal is to make sure you get great hair whether you rock with us or not we hope you do um, but you're here to learn and we're here to help all right so it says is it lagging for you guys someone says it's lagging it's it looks like it's lagging on our end too, but I just want to make sure uh, before we kind of get into everything. So we're shampooing, we're cleansing, um, make sure we're getting any buildup off of the hair, and then we're going to move right into the conditioning phase. So and make, to make sure we were able to get all this in one hour, we did start a little early, so we, had, uh, so we finished the shampoo stage already actually, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's jump back in um, and see what we're doing in the bowl and how things are going. Yep. So we are on to step two, which is the conditioning phase. Now it's extremely, extremely important throughout the entire wash and go pro process to make sure that your hair is moisturized. And when we say moisturize, there's only one moisturizer, and that is water. So we're, in the shampoo phase, we're adding lots and lots of water until your hair is weighed down with water. And then in the conditioning phase, your curl, your cuticles are open, so they are, it is ready to accept that moisture, which makes it the perfect time to go ahead and add even more water. If you're doing your wash and go at home, make sure that you're doing it in the shower. I cannot stress this enough. Your hair will not be its best ever if you do not have water, and all of the best wash and goes are made in the shower when you're at home. If you don't have an Andre at home or a wash bowl, you need to be in the shower, right? And then uh, I see a couple comments. Charlene, she said, I need to talk to Kim about the new product she used because her hair is so hydrated and defined. We saw you on IG. Listen, we got you, Charlene. We'll talk about that a little later because we are working on some big things for you guys in the background. Um, but we're also going to get to our first giveaway. Right? So remember, in order to participate in tonight's giveaways, and we're going to be giving away free products all night long, make sure you, number one, share the live, and then number two, text us at 81787. So all that's right. 81787. So how's it going back there, Andre? What's going on? It's going good. We're actually getting this conditioner distributed. Um, I did, like, pill open all this hair and showed a spot where there was absolutely no product. 
and um, that's just to be able to let you know if you have you know higher density hair that's higher on the uh, spectrum of density you can end up with spots that have product so what you want to do here is make sure that you're adding enough but also make sure that you're emulsifying in your hands so if I take it and pop it in my hand and put it on the head it's going to be right there in that one spot so emulsifying is like getting it all over so that your hands can spread it through and then adding water to make sure that you can distribute it even more so you know i know y'all had some uh, new year's resolutions about saving money well you can make your product stretch a little farther by adding water it's a huge mistake sometimes for people to reach for more product when instead they could just get more water and spread that product farther we want you to get the maximum benefit from each bottle use that water water is your friend and i saw someone say they need a andra at home um just follow her if you're in chicago you might be able to get you an andra maybe not at your house um but you might be able to get uh andra maybe stop <laughs> objectifying andra okay she is not a thing that you can get all right she is Sorry. unique and a unicorn in her own she right she is a professional okay objectifying when on washington wednesday no sir my my apologies i did not realize what i was doing please mm -hmm, forgive me mm -hmm. But if you want, if you want to reach out to Andra, check her out on Instagram at Hair Cousin. The other thing I saw is someone said they got their brush, and I guess they did some statistical analysis because they said <laughs> my toddler that brush is bomb, and my toddler has been crying 65% less when they detangle. How do you I don't calculate know, that? I don't know how they calculated it, but I'm gonna trust them because they're the only source for that information. You're right. You're right. All right, but I appreciate that. No arguing with that. I will Facts. say I am getting so much better at detangling our baby's hair, Zuri's hair. Well, too, uh, because he's still working Kim, on it. No. Yeah, Kim put me through the... Uh, <laughs> he put my arm down. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, let me, let me, let me, let me hype you Kim up. Kim put me through the detangling crash course, and we went on his head, you know, each of the little curls, had him in the bathtub, and she was showing me how it was done, because I tried it when Kim was, like, gone out of town, and Zuri wanted to fight me. So <laughs> I made, I'm not going to do that again. Oh, um, like that brush funny. would definitely No, you were like, Kim, come here. Well, I'm, like, well, I'm trying to tangle it. What do you do? And I was like, you want me to just show you? He's when like, Kim yeah. is doing it, he is like calm. He keeps playing with the bath toys. When I'm doing it, he's like trying to flip out and swim away and do and kick me in the face. It's just, uh, it's just a struggle. Nay Cherie says, okay, but can we have a giveaway that includes a hair transformation by Andra? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going I'm to consider that. Uh, for some time in the future. I will keep you posted. Don't call us. We'll call you <laughs> um, The other cool thing is I don't know if y'all saw when I was actually on camera, but my hair is bomb today I did my wash and go like an hour before we came into the studio today And I like I found the holy grail. I figured it out um, I realized I was trying to do too much at first. So I've been uh, on my own natural hair journey and uh, my hair's been growing out. It's first time in my whole life I've been doing it, so I got my TWA going. Um, but I realized in my quest for trying to get like big hair, big curls, things like that. Um, oh, they're telling me I should do a 360? Yeah, let's do it. I'll do a 360 for you. Um, in my journey, I realized I was trying to force the hair to kind of like get big and curly and loopy. Um, but what I was doing was brushing and detangling against the grain of my curls. Um, so I tried it today, going with the grain on my curls, and I got so much better definition. It is really, really nice. I'm impressed. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. Also made us late. <laughs> I'm like, come just, on. Just a little late. Whatever. Just a little. But we're here. We weren't late for Washington Go Wednesday. We were, we were just were late. late for what I we were late do. for some earlier stuff. Um, but stuff. if you are on your wash and go journey, remember the first time you try your wash and go, even the owner of the company didn't get it right. But the first time you try your wash and go, it may not be perfect. Um, it takes time. And it takes time for a couple different reasons. Number one is the technique takes time. It takes time to get good at washing goes. It takes time to try out those things. Um, but then number two, it takes time for your hair to change and accept this new style. A lot of people are not used to doing washing goes and they're not used to having really, really moisturized hair. 
I think Andrea put it the best way, you know, a lot of times your hair can be chronically dehydrated. And with the wash and go, we're trying to move you from chronically dehydrated hair to chronically hydrated hair. Mm -hmm. And it takes time. It took time for your hair to dehydrate. It's going to take time for your hair to rehydrate. So the best wash and goes sometimes are the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth wash and go. Yes. Um, yes. And we have so many examples in the Curl Mixers group online of people saying, you know, it didn't work for me at first, but I stuck with it. And now my hair is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, oh, and you guys, you see Andre using our Chromix Flex brush. So you guys can get that brush for free, actually, with your purchase of over 40 bucks. Um, but you can't use that with a discount. You have to use either the discount for the brush or the 20% off from it until midnight. But if you just go to the site, add it to your cart, and use the code free brush, you can get it for tonight as well. So Andre, can you let us know, we're on the still on the conditioning, the tangling step, yeah. but how is it going for you? What are you noticing? Because I mean, the way I see it, those curls are already popping. Yeah. Uh, it's, the definition is crazy right I here. With it's so. dripping. <laughs> the, the, the moisture is dripping off. The curls are defined all the way to the end. If you stop right now, you'll be good. Oh but you know, that's just me. Uh, so, <laughs> Actually, don't stop now. Go through step four. Just playing, y'all. You're planning to. So, um, in the same vein of hydration, um, our model is, has hydrated hair. Um, and what that allows me to do is, um, first of all, you have, she has a lot of definition. So what you're seeing, um, you may have similar hair textures um, as she does, and she doesn't have a lot of frizz. And that's actually a symptom of dehydration um, when you're shampooing and conditioning that they kind of won't lay down, right? Like it's not smoothing the way that you need it to. Um, and so what I'm noticing as I'm doing this is I'm getting right through. Like it's, it's a regular detangling session. I don't feel like it's um, overly difficult, like, you know, a, a task to try to get through. Just regular. And she did her hair when? Last, last week. Time, last week. So it's been about a week. So this is like good um, to be able to just get through regularly and I'll be able to show like what that shed hair is. You can look and kind of see um, about her density, what it looks like. And so then we'll show what that shed hair looks like for a week for her. All right. And then what's kind of like your normal lifestyle? Because Andre talks a lot about how your lifestyle can affect um, your hair. So whether or not you're going to the gym because it's the new year resolution or you know you work in an area that's highly polluted or dusty or something like that what's kind of like your lifestyle um, and how do you think that might affect the way you do your wash and goes yes, yes. I work outside so um, and I work in a car so I'm always having heat on especially in the winter time and I'm always exposed to like the elements so when it comes to hydrating my hair, I always have to make sure I have like a good uh, conditioner and a good styling gel. Mm -hmm. So you guys, if you notice, um, so one of the things that kind of scares me when I'm getting my hair to tangle is that sound where it's like, mm -hmm. and, and you, and it's funny because I think a lot of us are afraid of it, but we don't realize it's just kind of, um, it, it just it just comes with the whole process of detangling. So that's why you have to start at the tips of your hair and then work your way up to the root, like Andra's doing. So you just start you start from the bottom and you you just detangle a little bit by little bit until you can edge all the way up. And I don't even really detangle all the way at the root of my hair because I just feel like that's unnecessary. I just go as far as I can without doing over manipulation, right? And and then once I get there, then I go ahead and just twist it up and put it in a section. So we actually have something called the Chromix Method, where we show you a step by step, so like a four minute video of how you can get the best wash and go ever. Now for me, as of late, I know y'all are like, Kim, you got a lot of hair, whatever, whatever. It never looks like you're shedding. Oh my gosh, I am postpartum and I am shedding. Um, really badly. <laughs> and it, yes, I still have a ton of hair, but it just means that my shedding, it means that I tangled more easily. It means that I'm in the shower longer. It means that normally when I, I can run my fingers through my hair in the conditioning phase, and sometimes I'll run, run it through and get a knot at the end. And not because my hair hasn't been trimmed. My hair was trimmed in December, but because the shed hair, and you know it's shed hair because there are full pieces of hair. They're long, um, and they're catching at the end and twisting around my hair. And so sometimes my hair will twist like a little web, 
at the bottom of my finger comb. So it kind of freaks me out because then I get like little knots in the back or on the sides. And then now my hair is catching lint and stuff. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like, I, um, so I'm, yeah, I'm, so I'm postpartum shedding. So Andra, Charlene, and then uh, I think it was Charlene, and then also uh, Sarah maybe, they asked, they were looking at your technique and they were wondering how you're like holding the brush. The yeah. most people hold the brush from the side and they're like, she's like flipping it and moving really <laughs> fast, like what's going on? Yeah. <coughs> Can you talk about your brushing technique yeah. a little bit? Yeah, so honestly it depends on what's happening with the hair. Um, so this way is usually most user friendly. So you start and you pull down. Um, and the weight is obviously on the handle, so you're able to drag through it differently than if I turn it to the side. But what I'm also doing when you see me flip, so I have had clients and models and things where I'm doing, you know, this, and then all of a sudden it tangles right back up. And I, you know, realized my mentor told me, you're only detangling one side of the hair. The tangles can be a little bit deep on this side, but also on the other. So when I flip it, I'm going through and making sure that I have just as much of a flow through on both sides, ensuring that I'm getting all that tangled hair and shed hair um, from, from through, throughout the strands. So yeah, it's just, it's really a matter of, if you're feeling some resistance, just try changing the, um, the position of the brush and see if that helps you get through. Um, and also, like, I'm holding the hair with tension so that I'm not just pulling straight from her scalp so that, you know, it's not half her over here screaming at the curl mix on. That's not really <laughs> what we're going for. Um, so yeah, just, you just kind of play with it. Um, but yeah, it's really a preference thing. Tim, you know, we're testing out products and stuff, right? And Tim was like, oh, we should test some stuff live. I was like, then you're going to be like that girl who uh, burned off her hair while she was recording the video. I was like, mm, not over here on Chromex TV. No, thank you. No, thank you. So, I also, so a few people are mentioning uh, their shedding. So, shedding is absolutely normal. You shed maybe 60 to 100 hairs per day on average. Um, but I also wanted to tell you that your shedding may vary based on your lifestyle or where you're at in life. Say for instance, if you're having hormone changes like postpartum, menopause, um, whether you might be on your cycle, things like that. Or new medication or aging. That's also another part of it. I know um, there are a few articles about that. Just like, why is my hair shedding? It's a good 10 different reasons um, before it's really even about the products, right? Because sometimes we just shed naturally. Naturally, you'll shed up to 100 pieces of hair per day. That sounds like a that's lot. A, that's on average. On 60 average. to 100. 60 it's to a 100, normal yeah. distribution, like a bell curve. <laughs> right, oh, exactly. Yeah. So we need to do a giveaway because we're 20 minutes in and we haven't done one yet. I, we've been having so much fun, I forgot about it. I was okay. gonna, I was gonna so tell I'm going to let story. him do his trivia. We're going to pick a text messaging giveaway at the end of the live. Okay, so you can be texting. Um, once you text us once, you don't need to text us again. Um, but you have to also share. So if you don't share, you can't win. Okay? All right, so Tim, what is the first trivia giveaway? So, everybody, you all know I am a huge trivia buff, and therefore I want you to be a huge trivia buff. Um, but tonight, you're going to have to work for it because it's not just going to be easy stuff. Um, but if you are a new natural or if you are an experienced natural, if you're new to curl mix or if you're an experienced curl mixer, you can participate. So I'm going to be looking for the first correct answer that we see. And I always have to give this caveat because I may not see the first answer in the, ch in the um, chat. It may not be the first correct answer that you see. Um, but it's going to be the first correct answer that we see. All right. And the answers are, uh, and the winner will receive a free wash and go system. And tonight for all of our giveaways, we're going to be giving away our fragrance free wash and go system. So our fragrance free wash and go system includes our shampoo, conditioner, moisturizer, and gel, all fragrance free for sensitive skin and hair but it also includes organic sweet almond oil, which is a great multi-purpose oil that will help, all, help you in just about any condition. So normally we say like um, our, our fragrance free is great for someone with more tightly coiled hair in the type four range, but that sweet almond oil is great for just about anyone. Um, it's lightweight and it absorbs into the hair strands. So if you are ready for, to win this, all you have to do is show me some likes on the chat. Once I start seeing the likes go up, I know that everybody is paying attention, and I will read that first yes, question. Yes, type ready in the comments so we know you guys are ready. 
Tim, uh, somebody said, I can't, I'm not, I can't take Tim's trivia. They, they don't like, like the trivia. No, they love my trivia. They don't, they like, don't the trivia. like the trivia. They love the trivia. <laughs> that's what they, okay, were, okay, that's what okay. she said right there. She they was said, impressed. wow, wow, hello. Hey, Jasmine, what's up, Erica, my right. favorite. I see the lights I see the lights in. going. It looks like you are already and paying attention. Hey, so right. the first trivia question for tonight is what? Is an emollient, or better yet, what do what does an emollient do? Mm, what mm. does an emollient do? We should do a, spe uh, a spelling bee. Spell <laughs> emollient. <laughs> no no spelling bee. That's not the deal. Most of y'all on mobile, so I know there's gonna be a whole bunch of like autocorrects. <laughs> like MCAT. I don't know, but I always have trouble with autocorrect. So the uh, the question is. What does an emollient do? All right, what guys. does an emollient do? So we're we're are we taking one word answers or no? Um, I I'm gonna leave it for some wiggle room. I'm gonna look. We're gonna his, see his who favorite has answer. Who has the best? The answer. the most correct. You know how I was like on the on those standardized tests. It's like the most correct answer <laughs> of those options. Also known as a trick Joanna, <laughs> <laughs> Joanna says, hi, Crumbies. Please just get down from Brooklyn. What's up? What's up? See you in the wish. All you right. Guys. It looks like we have a winner. A winner. A Miss, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it in my mind. But uh, you guys, you can stop guessing because we have a winner. Jasmine Cologne. Hey, Jasmine Jasmine's been here forever, so I know she knows her stuff. But congratulations, Jasmine Cologne. All you have to do, Jasmine, make sure you're eligible by sharing the live. And then um, let us know your name and address by sending us an email to info at curlmix.com um, along with the screenshot of the end of this live. You know the one that says this live has ended. Send that to info at curlmix.com along with your name and address, and we'll get that product sent out to you ASAP. But for those of you who were really wondering what is an emollient and what does it do, Jasmine hit it on the head. An emollient helps to soften the hair and skin, right? So I know a lot of people were saying, oh, an emollient is similar to a moisturizer. But the real key here is that an emollient helps to soften the skin and hair, right? So it has great lubricating and some... Um, moisturizing properties but its real goal is to soften the hair and skin that's what we use it for and that's what we use them for in cosmetic products so, right. like, so I love Selene she got she got her Google food right, her Google gave food. us the dictionary definition <laughs> with sources I think it said Wikipedia on there I'm not sure and so you um, guys oh, just a reminder uh, so we are ending the rose the rose is gonna be gone in a couple of days and you do not want to miss out uh, today, you can actually get 20% off on it if you use the code that's in the link in the description. Um, or you can just buy a full price. We don't mind. Okay? <laughs> uh, all right. So, Tim, are you ready for your next one? Uh, I love Michelle. I can do comment. it. I know what it is. She said, uh, Kim's, ha Kim's hair and skin are just glowing. She's like, fresh photos with the bomb lighting. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know, it. MAC edition on my face. No, actually, I've actually been moisturizing my face for the last, like, I want to say three to six months. I used to be one of people who were like, I just use oil on my face, right? Um, but that's not what you should be doing. No. <laughs> because oil is not a moisturizer. It is just meant to lock in water. And you're going to have an oily face if you just put oil on it. So I actually have been using a moisturizer that looks like a lotion, like a face lotion. Um, and I promise you, it looks like my skin is shimmering. Like, I remember on, I was on the car phone with Tim. And I was like, Tim, like, oh my gosh, it looks like there's glitter on my face. But there's no glitter. Like... <laughs> I'm just shining. So, moisturize your face, people. But that's totally a tangent. Um, we are ready to do our next giveaway. Let me Real see some quick, hearts. Real quick, though, I want to put y'all up on game because Selene, everybody was like, Selene, how you do that so fast? Selene said, I am on my laptop. Yeah. Oh, tabs open. She takes her wash and go Wednesdays very seriously. Right. She's she, like, books, look. she books time in her husband's calendar. She's like, you go do you. I'm going to do <laughs> wash and go Wednesday. Um, I'm taking this serious. Got the glass of wine, the laptop oh, ready. Hey. Uh, extra tabs open. Google and Wikipedia and CMU <laughs> blog. She got it all. Right. right. CMU <laughs> blog. Chromex method <laughs> blog. Like, ain't nobody touches Selene. Okay. Selene, funny because I'm sure she has 
dozens of bottles of Chromex, and she literally gave away like five Chromex boxes to her yes. family. If you haven't seen <laughs> Selene posted in the group, she had the all-time best Chromex Christmas. Uh, we were so impressed. Uh, I felt a little jealous too because I did not get Chromex for Christmas. <laughs> so I was still really expecting it. Uh, but Selene so think and, and doing it now with his little hair. Okay. Selene <laughs> and her family, they are hooked up. He's been growing his hair off for, for like two days. Months. Okay. Six, six, six. He's so funny. Um, <laughs> all right, you guys. Y'all ready to see our next giveaway? Let me uh -oh. see some hearts. I know they're ready. Felicity, she says she's ready. I got my phone and my laptop. She's not missing anything. Uh, awesome. Let me see some hearts, you guys. You ready? You ready? You ready? This was easy. This is no trivia. All you have to do is participate. Be willing to participate. First, you got to share the live, and then you got to participate, okay? So, all we're asking is what is a New Year's resolution that you've kept up with so far, all right? So, you supposed to be on a diet. If you had some cake, okay, you broke it. All right, but did you get back on the horse? Did you get back on the horse? I'm curious. Okay. Yeah, so the reason I asked this is because I was being lazy this year. I decided not to make any New Year's resolutions. But you do that every year. I know, I, that is not true. <laughs> I make New Year's resolutions most years, but I thought this year I would try it different. Um, and I'm just going to try to be better every single day, um, not just from, you know, the first week in January when almost everybody else sticks to their goals. But if you have been able to stick to your goals so far, I am proud of you, first and foremost, and I'm going to encourage you to keep it going. Um, but I know a few people, like I used to work at a gym, and I promise you, we would just kind of count on the attendance how many people stuck with it. By February, we were like back to normal. But really? There, yeah, by February, Dang, second sucks. week in February, you're like back to your normal attendance. So, um, but yeah, let's read some of these. Um, so, I see starting eating, eating healthier, drinking more water, exercising. Someone said no more Coca-Cola. I saw no more No Coca. Pie. Yes. Look no Coca-Cola. Array is doing a vegan diet. Ooh, okay. Let, let, That's I wonder a big how that goes. Shift, it is. That's, that one's tough. I started doing keto. So keto is like easy but hard. You know, so keto is like basically um, a higher fat content diet, no carbs pretty much at all, except uh -huh. for like 20 grams. Um, so I've been consistent for the most part. Yeah, and Petra, she says she's doing more. Uh, oh, I just lost it, but she was basically doing more business something but i forgot it so she got a professional goal oh to do more business broadcast there we go I so like i'm that. looking for a certain type of new year's resolution i knew a lot of people were gonna say working out and eating healthy but i'm looking for um a different type of goal so i want to see what you guys say uh, someone says balance between a mom and a wife and a friend i'm also um i'm 40 or uh, something oh something day 40 and something <laughs> about soda oh here we go oh day I, 40 of no soda oh Look day 40 of no soda that's amazing congratulations i like levada she said i'm trying to give back to as many black um brands as possible that's i'm sorry black owned businesses as i can that's really cool, Levada. Thank you for supporting That's this what, black Levada, woman. Levada, you got a number in mind? How many businesses are you going to support this year? You know when you do goals, you got to have, like, you know, metrics and, you know, things attached to them. All right. Ooh, um, I like that one. And I think it was Leslie Kelly says, Ivy. Oh, you like Kelly Ivy? She said she wants to write every day because she is trying to finish up her dissertation. Oh, cool. That's cool. Congrats, Kelly. Okay. Um, I want to get my driver's license this year. All right, Felicity. I need to get mine too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I have one. It just expired a while ago. Oh, hey, Jay. Jay said more self love and intentional than be more intentional with my time. As a mom and wife, it's difficult to plan me time. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Um, Kim wants smart. What does that mean? What? Okay. Uh, going to work on better self care this year. Oh, wait. So when they Let's... said Kim wants smart goals. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're back in the bowl, and we are rinsing out the conditioner. So are you guys ready to see how we're how it looks when we're rinsing out? I always love we'll this part. To, we'll get to that. I want to read one more because I love Amy Herndon. She said her goal is to use Curl Mix for every wash day. Shout hey, out to Amy Herndon. Hey, we will Amy. support you in that, uh, Amy Herndon, because... I'm going to give you one of our giveaways. Ah, right? that's so Let's cool. Let's do it, Amy. That's a, that was the one I was looking for. That's, that's, that's not Kim's giveaway. That's, that's a but good But I'm going to help Amy out on her journey.
by giving her a free Chromix Wash and Go system. I know you already have one, but just in case you run out, we got you. Nikonic Yarly uh, Armel says, I like your hair. Thank you. Thank you so much. Think more positive. I like that one. I'm late today. Oh, these comments are going fast. Y'all are writing, okay? Y'all are really, really writing. Trini, she said, I'm gonna, she wants to journal every day. You know, I've, ever since I was a kid, I've thought about keeping the journal, but I don't think I've ever actually wrote a journal entry in my whole life. All right, so it looks like we're back in the bowl. How's it going, Andra? Good. We're getting rinsed out now. So one of the things you just said, can you say that a little louder so they can hear you? What you just said about my left side was easier to detangle than uh, my right side. Yeah. Because, so, go ahead. Because the conditioner sat on there a little bit longer. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all the difference was. Because I went over there and I was like, oh, hey, um, we just slide through over here. Um, and that's just that's the only the difference. Thing. Giving that time for that water and that product to kind of penetrate and get in there is always great. It's something if you can do if you're in the shower, is just work it in, right? Like separating with your fingers a little bit and working it in and giving it time to get saturated um, in that hair and then going through and detangling with your tool. Yeah, so that was actually a comment earlier. Someone said, do you really need to let that conditioner sit in your hair? Absolutely, if you want to have a better time with that detangling phase and well, get it. How would you describe your texture? Like if you were to tell someone, like what would you, how do you describe it? I would say it's like wavy, but when it dries, it becomes coily. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. So becomes, do you even ascribe to hair texting or not really? Um, not really because like I, I used to, when I used to say, oh, I'm 4C, um, my hair is tightly coiled, but once I start uh, using the right products and doing my hair, it, it wasn't, it has its own like texture. It's like wavy and then with that coil at the end, kind of similar to yours, except like it gets tight. Mm. Mm. I, and yeah. I can tell that yours is a little bit, it shrinks a little bit more. Like your mm -hmm. hair, like as I'm seeing her pulling mm -hmm. out, I was like, oh, your hair is actually like really long. Mm -hmm. it's just, but you know what? Elasticity means it's healthy. Right. So I always like to remind people that like healthy hair shrinks. Oh, know? yeah. Healthy hair shrinks. Cool. We have um, Sandy, and shrinkage is real. <laughs> I want to read a comment because somebody gave me some really cool encouragement. Natasha F. Taylor, she said, My five-year-old daughter is watching this with me and is begging me to wash her hair so it can be pretty like that lady's hair. Aww. That's Natasha, so sweet. that is amazing. How old is your daughter? How old is she? She's five. Oh, she's just five. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, Kim, I, thought, I thought Kim was asking trick questions over here. No, I didn't hear that part. <laughs> well, get you some, okay? I was, you like asking, you know when you ask a, class, a question in class and you really just didn't hear it and everybody act like you slow? Like, that's not right. That's I am right. so sorry. I, it it kind of, it gave me some pause there for a second. That's not but you so know, this is uh, how much hair came out, right? Yes. yes. Oh, did you show the side right now? No. no. Okay. So you guys, this is how much hair we got. All right? All right, cool, cool. So Natasha, she said her daughter's name is Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Thank you for watching Wash and Go Wednesday. Actually, Taylor, I'm going to do you, do you one better. So Natasha, if you do want to go ahead and wash Taylor's hair with Curl Mix, I'm going to give you a free Curl Mix Wash and Go system. All you have to do is take a screenshot of this live, send it to info at curlmix.com and I'm going to send you a fragrance free wash and go system so that you can use it to do Taylor's next wash and go. So Key Kennedy says, I learned to take your time through the steps, you get better results, at least I've noticed a difference. That's so true and you know what, it's because when you're in the shower you're getting not only the hot water but the steam into your hair so it's almost like a deep steam treatment as well. Um, so it's just benefits all around. Um, you'll be surprised how much kids love curl mix more than adults. I have to lock mine up for my teenagers. <laughs> that's hilarious, Charlene. I'm so sorry, Charlene. And so that's also um, for Amy Herndon, who won earlier. I think she asked a question about how does she let us know. So we do have customer service there in the chat. Um, but Amy, all you have to do is send us a screenshot at the end of this live to an, our email at info at curlmix.com along with your name and address, and we'll get it shipped out to you ASAP. So what are we doing, Andre? Are we going to moisturize and stuff? Yes. So we're adding both moisturizer and water. 
moisturizer. Um, so be able to get a good ratio in here so that it can actually get absorbed into the hair so that we can prepare our set. So we're using a rose tonight and rose is actually a little bit of a lighter formula. Um, castor is what I normally use on my hair. It's just he it's heavier, so it just gives me more hold. Um, but rose is good too, especially if you have uh, tightly coiled hair because your pores are gonna be you're gonna be uh, what is it low porosity. So you're gonna need something that actually can seep into the hair, whereas castor kind of sits on top. Um, so this is interesting. I can't wait to see our results. Yeah. And if you guys notice, Andra actually adds more water after she adds a product because she wants to help it spread, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to avoid um, just using too much, you definitely want to add water in between um, adding moisturizer to your hair. So, who, oh, Lauren, she had a really good question, Kim. Um, she said, why are we texting WGW to 81787? You want to explain uh, how we're doing something new for this year? Because just like you guys have New Year's resolutions and you try to change and transform yourself from year to year, Curl Mix's goal is to grow, change, and transform from year to year and get better and better and better. Um, and this is kind of part of it. Go ahead, Kim, take it away. So you guys, we are going to, we're doing giveaways a little differently. We're still doing our same old trivia, but we're also doing them via text as well. So if you text us, we are gonna pick a winner at the, winner at the end of this live. Um, it looks like our system is a little backed up though because we have so many text messages. So we are just waiting for it to load, but we're gonna do a giveaway at the end of this live. Um, but in the meantime, you can easily win by sharing. We're picking random winners and we're also doing trivia to select winners as well. And so Wanda, she said, I just went natural and I don't know exactly what type of hair I have. Wanda, don't worry, you are not alone. But I will tell you, the answer to that question is a little complicated. And maybe you can explain it, Andra, a little bit better than me um, about what is the significance of hair typing um, and what things people actually need to know about their hair in order to get started with a natural hair regimen. Sure. So when we talk about hair typing, there's a couple of different ways. There's a way that is very popular in the internet, on the internet streets and kind of in the natural hair community where there's a 2A, 3B, 4C, things like that, mixtures and really people put together combinations um, based on all types of different measurements. Um, but as far as professionals, when we talk about hair type, we're talking about very specific things that help us with product selection, also with how you should be establishing an at-home regimen and routine. Um, and so those things include, for the stylist, porosity can be important for the um, client who's at home, porosity is just a matter of, you know, the rate at which your hair absorbs liquid. And so that's helpful to know, like, how long you need to wet it um, and, like, what to look for once it's actually wet so that you can decide, like, how to layer, you know, your products and whatever. So that's in that case. So porosity is one. Um, another one is uh, texture. So we talk about texture in terms of what it actually feels like, and then we talk about texture in terms of texture speed or curl pattern. Um, we also talk about um, your lifestyle. So even though that's not exactly related to your hair type, that does tell what we need to uh, assess in order to help you establish the best regimen. So another thing is elasticity. Um, and that's just like your spring factor. And so if you're, you've, if you've had heat damage, I've had heat damage before, um, or something we call thermal rearrangement, that's one of those things that matters for like what your set is actually going to look like and how you, you know, navigate learning your hair. And so that's something that may be able to, excuse me, be addressed um, just with a good regimen or it may be something that's got to get cut off, you know. So those are a few of those essential elements. So, oh my gosh, Sandy, I love your hair because it looks extremely hydrated. I don't know, Andre, can you talk to me? Because a lot of people with our hair texture, they say that my hair is dry, my hair doesn't curl, like, whatever, you know, washing goes are not possible. Mm -hmm. But I would love for Andre to talk through what she's feeling on your hair and, um, you know, good and bad. Like, what, what do you feel on Sandy's hair? And then Selene had asked Sandy, um, when was the last time you had a trim? Because they are looking at that definition and it's like, oh my God, it's all the way to the end. So you last can, month. Last month. She had a trim last month. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so yeah, what am I feeling? So um, yeah, I'm feeling some coarseness. So when I say coarse, coarse is roughness. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just what it feels like. It's like wool. 
um, but at the same time, like it's some softness to it, and um, like that's kind of where hair typing can be difficult because it's like, well, what am I categorized as if I have coarse hair that's also soft? So it's like rough and soft. Like, how is that possible? But you know what I mean. So that's kind of like where it's important to work with partner with a professional. See, my hair is similar. When I was doing last night, it's maybe rough after like it's rough maybe like shampooing and then right. maybe even conditioning. But once I'm running it under like really water. like warm hot water, mm -hmm. yes, it feels buttery, mm -hmm. buttery yes. soft. It's like this yes. is amazing. Yeah. And then I apply product immediately after, and that's when I get my best results. Mm -hmm. um, so, is the water uh, warm, Andre? Yes. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, we don't know. Sometimes, when I was under the bowl, it was cold. I was like, oh. You know, that's because Kim has too much hair. We ran out of yep. hot water. Yeah. <laughs> she emptied the whole tank. Exactly. Oh, emptied okay. the tank. Shut up. We weren't even wet. We were just trying to get there at the beginning. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That, that was, you know, that might have been the last time I've been on Wash and Go. I'll be on Wash and Go Wednesday, okay? <laughs> Unless we in my park. house, yes. in my high shower, park. it's not happening. Yeah, okay. Kim needs a wash and go Wednesday, part one and part two. It's a, it takes two weeks to do Kim's wash and go Wednesday now. Um, but yeah, we had a, we had a couple questions. Um, someone asked, how do you incorporate the serum into your natural hair regimen? All right. That is a really great question. If you look on our website, you'll see that we offer a whole host of serums that match up with the systems that we have. Um, we have five systems available, actually six systems available as of right now on our website, and each of them has their own corresponding serum. And what's really cool is that those serums have really special, really potent organic oils to help you achieve a specific goal. Um, but each of the serums can be used a multitude of different ways, right? At least 10 ways that we've identified. So if you check out our website, chromis.com, and go to the serum um, page, you'll see all the 10 ways. But we always suggest a few of the more common ones when we're talking about it on Wash and Go Wednesday. So Megan says, Charlene Turner got me hooked on Chromix. The first time she did my son's hair with Chromix, I could have cried. Um, oh, I think it, it rolled up too we'll, fast. We'll go back to that comment, but um, back to the serums really quickly. The number one way you can use a serum um, is uh, on your body, actually, which is the more popular use than even using it in your hair. Because if, you, um, if, you have, if you're not ready, if, sorry, if you aren't used to doing um, wash and goes yet, we don't suggest you use it on your hair. Um, but as you kind of use, use and kind of go through your wash and go process, then you can start to use the serum to help break up the cast or to oil your scalp, to do hot oil treatments. Um, but the body uses are what's most interesting to me. So you can use it um, as a lubricant right after you get out of the bath or shower um, under your body butter. And then also you can use it to help soften the cuticles on your fingernails. Kim used the rose serum extensively during her pregnancy to help soften her skin on her belly so that she, she could avoid stretch marks. There are lots of different cool uses, but check us out on the website. Um, just search for the serums, and there are 10, at least 10 different ways we've identified. All right, you guys. So I am getting ready to announce our text messaging winners, all right? I was able to finally get everybody's names up or everybody's phone numbers up, all right? So if you are trying to win, this is your last chance to go ahead and text us to win a giveaway for the last, yes. okay? A lot of people were saying they were having difficulties or nothing was happening. There were so many messages coming in so fast, the system just like couldn't keep up. It was crashing. But it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is new for all of us. Um, but yeah, it is starting to catch up and we're seeing everybody's stuff come in. So if you tried it and didn't get any response back, go ahead and try it again. Um, so that's WGW, text WGW to 81787, 81787. So, Andre, you know what I've noticed? I've noticed that um, I'm way more heavy-handed when I apply product than you are. Mm -hmm. um, and so can you talk to about like your what you're thinking when you're applying product and what, what's going through your mind and how you're doing it? And really quickly, Andre, before you answer that, LaVeda, she actually just said the same thing. She said, I'm having a problem with flaking after using the system, which causes me to have to wash more frequently. Please tell me what I'm doing wrong. And it just might be related to what Andre is about to talk about. 
Yeah, so with regards to flaking, there could be a couple of things going on. Um, it could just be that there is a lot of product um, on your hair or how the products are interacting with each other because it, there's gels and you're layering. And so that's, that could be how they're interacting and um, that's just the result. And so there's not necessarily mean that it doesn't work, but what you may want to do is try working it in more when you're applying it um, to kind of avoid that. And be a little less heavy handed. Um, and then also making sure that your hair is completely moisturized first. So the more water you have, the more likely it is, sorry, the less likely it is that your gel will cast up and flake really badly. So it's either almost always, it's almost always either too much product or not enough water. Yeah, and so how I'm using product, um, like how do I decide how much to use? So yeah, this is a transparent moment. Uh, Curl Mix has been a challenge because of how weightless it is. And I was not used to using flaxseed gel um, on clients before like working with it regularly. And so what I do is kind of I'm looking at the result because I know that what I'm seeing with the hair is wet is how it's going to dry. So I go through and I do step three and then I do step four. But then as you can see, I'm turning around and pumping because where I need more and where I need to work it in more, I'm adding more. So it may end up being more products in the end that I use that I didn't necessarily put on as soon as you know we did it because first of all she has a lot of hair um, and so there's places you know you discover that you miss complete spots um, so yeah do you want to try so I know we're using the rose but for me I normally use um, the line with capsule so if you're interested or if you want to it's definitely there but feel free to continue using rose either one yeah uh, it's totally fine okay all right, you guys, so I have um, our first winner, all right? Um, are you guys ready? Lose some hearts if you're ready to see who our text messaging winner is, okay? All right, are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Kim loves singing copyright. I just love how she loves music. Isn't it lovely? I'm a jukebox. Okay. <laughs> All right. Y'all ready? Let me see some hearts. All right. So, Karina Lugo. Karina Lugo, you are our first text messaging winner. And what do you receive? You are going to receive our full fragrance free wash and go system worth over 80 bucks, but you get it completely free. All right. And now, don't be sad and jealous if you didn't win. It's totally okay. Everybody gets 20 percent off until midnight. All right. So, congratulations, Karina. All right, and then really quickly, Andre Felicity yes. had a question. She was she was looking um, at your technique there, and she said, "Is it better to finger comb?" Because she, she, I, I first of all, I'm totally impressed by uh, Andre's technique. Because I can promise you, when uh, I do my like little <laughs> detangles, I just like eh, in there and it's good. Yeah. Right? But she is, she's so delicate. She's very detailed. <laughs> Um, so I'm super impressed, but tell us about your, your finger combing technique and how you're kind of setting those curls. Yeah, so this is the part that's like, it's not any more or less important, but now I just want to make sure I get products on every side of that curl. And so um, if I was to, ideally we would be dunking back into the bowl because I would be able to kind of add more um, water and help distribute and make sure that it's getting everywhere we need to get. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just working it in. Now, you're saying, is it better to finger comb? And the question is, as compared to what, how are you actually setting your hair? So then I can kind of contrast like what this means in conjunction, or as opposed to what you usually do. I would setting. compare it to using um, like a brush. A tool, okay. Yeah, because some I feel like a lot of people are doing that. Yeah. And I feel like on camera, we're not getting the definition that you're getting shown. So let me just, I'm gonna get a little closer. Okay. So you guys, you can, you don't have to move, but I see way more definition here than, I'm, than we were getting on the camera. Yeah, so let and me just, Jay, she said, I could watch this all day. You know, that's one of the things we notice about Wash and Go Wednesday, is people absolutely love watching other people getting their hair done. And I kind of have a theory on it, but I feel like it's like an asthma video. You know, you're watching someone else, you're kind of simulating it in your mind. It's really nice and 